Hello guys, today we will continue celebrating Native American Heritage Month and we will finish painting our blue bonnet inspired by the book The Legend of the Blue Bonnet by Tommy de Paola. The book is based on the legend of the Comanche Nation. Let's get started today and let's go ahead and paint the background taking inspiration from sceneries of blue bonnets around Texas. So let's get started for today. You will need water, your paintbrush, and your watercolors. Now, remember last time that we decided to paint the leaves with yellow? Now, what color did you think the leaves were gonna turn if I added blue? Let's see what's gonna happen to the leaf color now. I will mix in a little bit of blue What color did the leaves turn? Was it the color that you, that you thought the leaves were going to turn? Well, now you have learned that yellow and blue create green. Let's see what other colors we can create by painting. I will go ahead and get started on the top part of my painting, which is going to be my background. Now that I painted it red, let's go on top of it with blue and let's see what color red and blue mixed together create. Alright, now I will let the blue dry and I will go ahead and after it dries, go back with it with red and the color that is going to mix is going to be purple. It depends if you added more red or more blue, how dark your purple is going to be. If you add more red, it will be more light. If you add more blue, it will be a little bit darker. So the color is going to be up to you. Now let's go ahead and do the next part right there. For this part, I will use red again. Alright friends, I think I'm done with that part. Now if you want to use a little bit of yellow here, we're going to start with the yellow and then we are going to mix in red. What do you think will happen when I mix yellow and red? Well, let's find out. All right, friends, I have painted everything with yellow. Now I will go back and use a tiny little bit of red. So let's put a little drop of red right here and then let's see what color we can create. Okay guys, now I am done with the red. What color have I created now? Orange! So next time you mix yellow and red, you will know that you can create orange. Now if you want to go back and fix your colors, wait until your paint is dry and then you can go back again and add more color on top so that way your colors can match. Now I'm going to go back here and I see the stem of the flower. I'm just going to go ahead and use normal green color to paint the stem. Alright friends, so now I have finished with the stem of my flower. Thank you so much for learning today and make sure that you are always remembering to be kind and respectful to people from different cultures and I am so excited that you got to learn about Native American Heritage Month. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you read the books in our Bitmoji library where you will learn more about Native American people. So be sure to read because books and art make a better, more beautiful place to live. See you soon!